going real people? Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a pressurized shower to put on top of your Jeep, truck, or SUV for just these very few materials right here. And it's very easy to make and I'm going to show you how to make it right now. So, so these are really the materials that you need. Uh, you need uh, two lids right here, one for the front, one for the back. You need your giant PVC pipe, three inch, five feet long, should be perfect size to fit on top of your truck or SUV or Jeep or anything like that. You got your tri-piece connector with the screw on top right here. Uh, the hoses are both going to go on each side and your screw on top right here is going to go just like that. We're going to have to put some uh, tape around it to make a very tight seal since this will, will be pressurized and we do not want this cap flying off and hitting anybody. But uh, whenever you run out of water, you'll just take this cap off probably with a uh, wrench or something like that since it's going to be on very, very tight. And you're just going to refill your water straight from the top and then put your lid right back on as tight as you possibly can get it and you're going to be good to go. Also, what we got are these industrial rubberized tire valves. Since this will be pressurized, I keep saying that again and again because that is something to very keep in mind when doing this because it can be dangerous. If let's say one of these caps pop off and your face is right next to it, it's going to hurt. <laughs> so I got these uh, rubberized tire valves. They're pretty nice. I got them from O'Reilly's for like 6 $7 if it'll focus. There it is. Yeah. You can see the rubber on them. Thick rubber. So I got those. And then I got this from Lowe's. I got this for like $3.00. It is just the American Valve Quarter Turn Brass Compact. So, yeah, that's what it is right there. So that's really all you need. And, of course, you do have to have your liquid cement for your PVC pipe. That way it does seal this and keep it as tight as possible. So these are really all you need. All in all, I got all the PVC pipe for about 60 bucks. I got this for 10 that for 5 and that for 8 So all in all, uh, just a little bit over $100. Nothing too bad. First things first is we're gonna drill this hole for. Oh, that's not right. There we go. We're gonna drill this hole for these valves. Well, just the one valve. Okay, so first things first is we're gonna drill a hole right up here for this valve. So I gotta take this apart real quick. Take the washer. Take that. So this is going to be the side that's inside, and this little piece is going to be sticking right on the top. Awesome. So we're going to start with this size drill bit. We're going to do it right. Right. Yeah, about right there. Oop, get out of hand. up there watching me so back to what we were doing uh, finally got the hole big enough got it all in there now we got that washer I mean that rubber bit pretty tight I'm gonna try to at least get the washer on here but I don't see that happening because this is the bigger rubber seal so let me see if I can take it off Put on this other smaller one, which might help a little. Oh yeah, helps a lot. And you still got that rubber ring in there. Y'all can see it. Yeah, but it, it's still in there. I just took, I just took this bigger one off. It came with two, which I'm pretty sure you're supposed to use two, but I can't do it. As long as that rubber seal is on the inside, we should be good. You want to get this as tight as you possibly can. You do not want this bad boy coming off. Ah, oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh yeah. That rubber seal, as you can see, flattened out really good. And that washer is on very, very well. You know what I just realized I should have done? I should have put some sealant on this. Hold on.
here's some pretty strong stuff right here this e6000 uh oh it's just it's coming it's coming Quick, this E6000 is going to start coming out. I already know it. I'm just going to put it right there. Just that little bit. That's enough. That's enough. Just something to help this nut lock on and not pop off. Oh, is it going to be difficult to get on now? sure not to get that stuff around the valve and now make sure to get this bad boy as tight as you possibly can there we go I'd say we are good there that's what it's gonna be like so whenever we get ready to put air in here, just take this twist cap off, pump it right in. Good to go. All right, that's one thing done. Now we gotta drill the hole right here for this bad boy. So it's gonna look just like that. So let me switch my drill bits. Take this one off. This is going to be the biggest one I have, which looks like that's just going to fit perfect. So I might need to go a little bit bigger, but this is the biggest one I got. I know. I should have went to, when I was at Lowe's, I should have just got the piece that I needed, but I didn't. Trying to get it as even as possible. Alrighty, that is on there good. I'm gonna put some sealant around the cracks right here just to help the seal. I'm gonna put that nut in the back right here to 
give it a better seal as well and then we will be good to go Ready, there we go. Had to hammer it in there pretty good. All right. I think it's as snug as it's gonna get right there, but there we go. See in the back, you can see the tank right here lines up with the spout and it's perfectly straight and it's exactly what I wanted it. So it looks really, really good. Next, I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit while longer. And then we're gonna sand the whole thing and we're gonna paint it like a matte black, like a uh, truck bed liner, nice rough texture. And it's gonna be solar powered. So when we're out here in the sun and you don't wanna take a cold shower in though, right now a cold shower sounds awesome because it's like 102 right now. <laughs> I'm just absolutely sweating. But the idea of this is if like if it's cold during the fall and you know it's like 50, 60 outside and you would really appreciate like a warm shower, you're gonna paint this black so that way this thing absorbs the sun's rays and it heats up naturally and you'll have a nice warm shower at least that is the plan and we will see <laughs> okay. now i'm going to start uh, sanding all this pvc pipe i uh, just got some basic sandpaper here i'm just going to go through give it a once over one good time just to scratch this surface enough that that paint that I'm going to spray on here sticks and holds really really good. So that's why you want to go over this with sandpaper because this is really really slick and a lot of times if you just spray paint it on here and you even like scuff it or scratch it that's going to come straight off because there's nothing to bind to and stick to so that's why it's really important to sandpaper all of it and make it not stick. You want it just enough that when you rub your fingers over it you feel all the bumps. That's how you know and that's what you want. All right, so here's our pipe thus far. It is glued together. It has been, everything's been screwed on. The tire valve, the water hose connector, and it's been sanded. So all we have left, oh. So all we have left now is to spray paint the entire thing. Now I'm gonna go over here and get the spray paint. I'm gonna do that truck bed liner all up and down it. Make sure it's black, that way it can heat up, heat up from the sun. You have nice pressured water. Oh guys, I really hope this turns out good. Fingers crossed. Time to get to painting. All right, so here's the paint we're gonna be using. Rust-Oleum truck bed coating. Textured non-skid finish, so it's got, you know, those little uh, bumps on it, that little texture. So, should work.
this bad boy up and hopefully this top does not pop off. But we are about to find out. I'm gonna only bring it up to 30 psi because that's all we all we need. I hear the air coming out of there. So I'm do that again so y'all can hear it. I'll plug it back in. Yeah, and there's a leak right there. Right at the bottom. But yeah. Watch this. I don't need the light on. Yeah, you can hear it. Water is definitely escaping from there. So, go over there and fix that. So I'm gonna have to take this whole top part off, empty all the water, reseal that, and then come over here and find a way to reseal this. Fun, fun, fun. Alrighty, so I think I got all the cracks and crevices sealed. I used that E6000 and Bring it down here so you can see if it'll focus. I sealed all around the ring and the barrier, all in those cracks on all the sides, even right here. There you go, that's a better shot. You can see where I sealed all around it with the E6000. Did it right here, everywhere. Got every crack I could possibly get. So now we're about to fill it up with water again, and fingers crossed. There's no leaks this time, and it holds air, and it holds pressure, and it works like it should. I don't know why it wouldn't, it should. That, I've sealed everything, so we're just gonna fill it up now and see if it works. <laughs> All right, so we have sealed this thing again for, I think this is the third or fourth time. Now what I did is I took that liquid concrete stuff for PVC pipe and I went all around the edges five times. <laughs> so there's absolutely no way, you know, knock on wood, that this thing should leak. All right, so here we go. We're gonna turn her, turn her on. We already got a leak. <laughs> it's pumping out of it. Oh, it's aggravating. So I guess what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a knife and completely really strip all that sealant that I just put on it. And I don't know, I guess try to find another way to seal it, maybe super glue instead. I don't I don't know. I don't know. All right, quick update. This is uh, this is what is this? Uh, try number three to get this thing to uh, seal up properly. Uh, so using the liquid concrete for PVC pipe was not working, though I did soak it and douse it in that stuff and it sealed it. There are still air pockets being made and water is still escaping, air is still escaping. So I have to seal it as best as possible. So what I did was I ran down to the good old Dollar General and I picked up some JB Weld. This stuff right here, it's the uh, Cold Weld Original Formula Strength that. 5020 psi set time four to six hours cure time 15 to 24 hours and it's for household stuff like plumbing holds pvc pipe and stuff together and it's water resistant so that is key so what i did right here was is, i don't know if you can see it if my camera will focus on it but i took that jb weld and i completely put it in all the cracks and crevices what i did was um i took it all apart which took forever with that con liquid concrete. But I took it all apart and I completely soaked it and doused it in liquid concrete. And then I took that JB Weld and I did a beat of it all the way across 
all the way across it multiple times and then I capped it and put it all together so it is tight on there there is no way there's gonna be any leaks at least fingers crossed knock on wood you know oh man I hope it sticks so I'm gonna let this dry I'm gonna let it cure and then we'll be right back and we're gonna fill it with water and fill it with some air and guys fingers crossed it is not leak this time fingers crossed all I need to do is hold at 30 psi that is it this stuff is measured at 5,000 psi so we should be good at least i hope so all right guys it is the next day a uh, quick little update so what i did yesterday before i finished is i took it all apart and then as y'all saw i jb welded it well i don't know if i shot my have actually missed that clip but i jb welded it and then i liquid cement and then i put the cap on and then after i did that i put jb weld all around the cracks and everything to completely give it an airtight seal and i did that all down here right there right there i did that to all of them and then I left it overnight. So it's had about 18 to 20 hours to cure. So it should be completely hardened. So what I did is I filled it up with halfway with water. Not all full because I don't want to overdo it just in case. So it's halfway filled with water. I'm about to put a little air pressure in it. And then I'm about to see if the nozzle will turn on and give me some water. Because I definitely need to cool down, guys. It has been so hot today. The humidity is like 100%, 110, something like that. Heat is like 105. It is, it's just stupid here in Texas right now. So I'm going to turn the water on and try to see if I can get some pressure to cool me off because I am sweating. It is so hot. It is insane. Can y'all see that? It is. Close it. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So, I'm gonna take this. Make sure my valve is open. Because I do not want all that pressure building up in just this. I want it to go through the hose as well. So fingers crossed, guys. Moment of truth. Going. <laughs> it was on. No air leaks. Right now we're about 20 PSI. A little under 20 PSI, which I think is perfect. I don't even think we need to go the full 30. And no leaks. I cannot express how happy I am. It has been two days trying to get these leaks to stop and finally we have no leaks, guys. We did it. We did it. So we got mist mode. Ah. Uh, uh. Feels so good. Oh, so good. Oh, love it. All right. Well, I am very, very happy that it finally worked. I'm very excited. Took a lot of trial and error, but I think at the end of it, just going through all that made it way more sweeter once it is finally completed and done. But guys, I really hope y'all enjoyed the video. This is really fun to make. Definitely gonna come in use for the future camping overlanding videos that I plan to do. Just, you know, go out camping, catch and cook, stuff like that. So definitely gonna be a nice uh, addition to the Jeep along with the uh, pullout kitchen. But guys, I really hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe to the Dark Relaxion channel. If you could, please give me a big thumbs up on the video if you really liked it, if you found it helpful. Uh, everything that I use to make the pressurized shower, I will leave in the descriptions below along with some affiliate links. So, guys, that is it. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you go out and uh, make your own and use it and tell me what you think. But, guys, I will catch you all on the next adventure. Peace.